Hey you guys, this is Alchemist Negra. I'm chilling with Link in the background. <laughs> I just decided to put him there for for now on. Um, yeah, I drew that with crayon. Don't ask why. Unless you really want to know, it's really not important. Anyways, um, today I just wanted to talk to you guys about um self-care because i think self-care is really important um lately i've been seeing a lot of things that are making me uncomfortable and usually this deals with watching black people have to defend their existence <laughs> defend their humanity to non-black people um and of course white people which goes into that category but um i say white people specifically because the other day i just found out about this uh black woman gamer and she's awesome her name is mika burton look her up if you're into like looking at uh video game reviews i think she works with like they're called the hot chili pepper review or something like that I'm not sure something along that line but if you type in her name she'll come up um, anyways, I got a little bit uncomfortable because she was um, on this show called Off the Off the Wire or something like that, and um, she had to talk about why it was such a big deal for her to be um, a black woman gamer, um, and she was like, she just said the most truth truest thing. She was like, for a long time in my life, I didn't want to be black. I hated to be black. And I thought that that was so heavy and so real, um, of course, but um, the white hosts that she was with were like, what? Being black is cool. Why don't you want to be black? And that just made me like, oh, God, I'm so tired. Um, but also just like seeing this in general, like seeing when other black people have to explain to non-black people you know, what is okay, what isn't okay, it gets exhausting. Um, and, and when we specifically have to talk to those people, I'm going to say specifically white people, just because I feel like as people of color, um, in general, we have at least a basic understanding of oppression. So when you have to explain to a white person, like, this is what I've had to face, like, she was like, I'm a black woman gamer, and she's like, I play on Twitch, right? And she's like, all down my Twitch, they call me the N-word. And she's like, I know so many different spellings of the N-word. And they were just, they didn't know what to do. And I feel like often when we when we explain our situation, people um, misinterpret it. Um, and Or people don't consider our perspective at all. Or they think that, oh, well, she, she or he or whomever just doesn't want me to see their color. Um, so I'm gonna be colorblind. And that's not what we ask for either. That's not what we're saying. We're saying you should stop judging us and treating us a certain way because of our skin color. We're not saying despite our skin color, like we're trying to get rid of our skin color because that's not what we're trying to do. In fact, it's, it's insulting when someone says that because you know, I want you to see my melanin, she wants you to see her melanin, and so forth. So, yeah, that that's the introduction. Um, it's just, it makes me uncomfortable when I see Black people having to really um, unpack their own traumas or, or share videos of other Black people getting killed to prove a point, because that starts to really erode on your mind and erode your self-concept a lot. Um, having to keep seeing people who look like you getting killed, um, but also just feeling like they're not really getting it. And and it's also like frustrating because those people don't take out the time to learn themselves. Um, they don't take out the time to understand why their relative is voting for Donald Trump or why their grandmother calls you the colored girl. They don't take the time to understand that, but they will take all day trying to argue that your perspective doesn't matter. So anyways, that's the introduction. So I wrote down some things that 
um, one can do to just get your spirits uplifted in these times that are quite frustrating. And the first thing that I said um, was that you should drink water. Water is a really good thing to drink. It keeps your skin clear, especially with like all the meats that we eat. Or if you eat meat at all, you might not eat meat at all. Good on you. Because uh, there's a lot of stuff put in meat um, that could really make you break out. Um, and then just also the fact that water is used in many mechanisms in the body. Um, your body is like 72-76% water. So it's good that you drink water. Um, eight glasses a day, a gallon is really good and go outside going outside really helps especially i know a lot of people who get um depression um seasonal depression because you know it starts getting darker sooner so just enjoying the sunlight um maybe like on your break going outside and and like looking at not looking directly at the sun <laughs> but looking at the sun soaking in some vitamin d and, and also i heard that um being around the sun helps your body produce endorphins. So yeah, um, getting outside is really gonna help. Um, and also learning how to make your own products is really gonna help too. So like recently I made uh, I made this, I'll show you. Um, oops, there's a little hair. <laughs> but it's like my own shea butter mix. And I, I was watching like Natural and I made it. And it's like shea butter, castor oil, olive oil, um, and then like all the stuff like rosemary oil for like hair growth and stuff. So I think it's really important to figure out how to make things on your own sometimes because you'll find out a better way that your body can get nutrients directly and not have to take in all that extra garbage <laughs> that they mix into it. Like for instance with lotion, it's like I'm always ashy because they put so much water in lotion. Uh, so yeah, and it's fun to learn how to make stuff. So yeah. Um, another thing I wrote down is doing something you enjoy, like dancing in your room, um, talking, hanging out with your friends, drawing, oh, <laughs> drawing, <laughs> Link, Toon Link is the easiest thing to draw in my opinion, I just love him, he's my favorite Link, he's so cute. Um, and then I, I also said checking in with people really helps you feel better um it lets you it reminds you that you're not alone because i can't remember who exactly had said it but someone had said that when you're alone it's easier for someone to tear you apart it's easier for everything around you to tear you apart especially when you're around these people that are not listening to you not listening to your perspective not wanting to even take the time or day so it's good to check in with people that you know care about you and it's good for them uh, to check in as well, you know, it's a mutual system. That's really great. And then reading or writing really helps. Uh, huh, I write, huh, huh, the, um, maybe you don't know, but I do write, um, and I have to read to write. But yeah, reading, you know, you have to read notes. Uh, I say to Nisi. I don't know how you're supposed to say his name. I say to Nisi Coates. You don't have to read him. You know, you don't have to read anything heavy. You could just read Harry Potter or something. Or uh, you could read Octavia Butler. Um, but just reading is good. Um, working out the brain. Actually, if you have more channels in your brain, um, the onset of Alzheimer's and the, the onset of the, the deterioration of your brain um, will be slower because you'll have more channels in your brain. And so it will take a while before you actually lose everything. So that's that's a good thing to do to build up yourself. Sleep. Sleep is a good thing. Your body processes a lot when you're asleep. You, you'd be surprised. I, I, I used to study in college and then I'd fall asleep. And then I'd wake up and somehow remember things really well. <laughs> Osmosis. Um, uh, eating things with health benefits i mean it's great to eat tubs of ice cream but um you know it's also cool to like blend up some spinach some almond milk and some strawberries which i do a lot um and it tastes really good and put like honey in it instead of like sugar and getting a notebook to write down your thoughts um to remember that your thoughts matter 
even if other people tell you that they don't. And that might have something to do with writing, but I think that that's important. Um, and it's important to convince yourself, most importantly, that you matter. Um, and not, don't learn anything. Like, for instance, don't watch the 13th, <clears throat> which just came out for the sake of wanting to teach your white friend um, that your life matters. You should be watching it for you as well. You should be watching it to understand what's going on with the people in your community. Because I believe if you're building up yourself, your life, your body, you know, you're building up those communities just by supporting yourself. And I'm not just saying be all about yourself, but you know, it is important that you take the time to take care of yourself. Because you can't do anything for anyone else if yourself, if you're like, whole being is not put together it's like you are a heart you are the heart in this body and if the heart is pumping well the body is getting proper blood flow to everywhere everywhere and but if if you're a heart that belongs to this body and you're steady trying to fit yourself into other bodies they won't accept you because that's science. Like if you, I don't know if you know about heart transplants, but when they um, put hearts into other bodies, like transplants, um, usually those people have to take antibiotics because the body doesn't accept it and rejects it. And the antibiotics prolong the process, so the heart is able to live in that other body for a little longer, like eleven years. But eventually, the the body will destroy the organ because it's foreign. It's the same thing. You you just can't spend your life. <sighs> you can't spend your life, and I'm telling myself this too, because I swear I just got into an argument with someone today about this, but you cannot spend your time trying to make people see that you matter. It is important that you understand that, um, and that you're just, you're supporting others by supporting yourself. What I loved about that interview with Mika is that she said, I love myself, and I love what representation I'm giving all the black nerdy girls with playing these video games and being a part of this big franchise and that see her loving herself and loving where she is is building up people like me out here like people out there who are just the same um but yeah and for people who aren't black <laughs> you know you should listen you should listen. If you if you really have a black friend and you really care about them, you should listen to their perspective because and you shouldn't get mad when your black friend gets frustrated. Because the thing is, we have to listen to the dominant narrative, the dominant perspective which often silences us all the time. That's all we hear. And we're silenced every day. We have to swallow our pride every day in most cases. So Listening is the best thing you could do because I'm not you, you're not me. I might be Link, but you're not Link. <laughs> you're not Link, so you don't know Link's perspective, you don't know my perspective. So you should listen to Link. Link's mute, but I talk for him, okay? And you should listen to our perspective. Um, so that's all I have to say. Um, those are some things that I jotted down. Just make sure you're taking care of yourself, even when you're watching these videos. And, and if a discussion with a friend who doesn't really see how you matter gets a little frustrating, just back away. Especially Facebook arguments, it's really not worth it. If that person cares about you, they will have tea with you. They'll get their Google search ready. They'll get their library card ready to learn. Otherwise, focus on you. Alright, that's the video I have for today. So, you can like, subscribe, share, please. I'll be making more of these. I'm working on a zodiac sign video. So, yeah. So, say goodbye to Link. Say goodbye to me. Bye.